Life hurts. Yes, it does. We've seen a lot of love stories, but this one hits different. What would be a life living with that person that hurt you the most? The person that almost killed you and did it on purpose? What is really the power of love and forgiveness? How far would it go? Just like everything in the world has limits, do you think that a loving and forgiving heart has limits too? Well, at the end of this story, we shall have the answer to that. He is called for this. What happened to him is unbelievable. He was burnt by his girlfriend because she asked him to marry her and he was not sure if he wanted this. Surprisingly, he is now in a relationship with the same lady and they now have kids together. This is their story. Of course, he was a normal and fine boy at birth and had no problem at all. Everything was okay. He lived in this same village and he was living a life that he was used to while he was growing up slowly by slowly. According to what he says, this all started when he was about 25 years old. He found a lady that they fell in love with and had a happy relationship. They never expected anything like this to happen until it did. His wife one day asked him to marry her because he seemed like he was not going to talk about this soon. This is the reason why she decided to take the first step and talk about it. She asked him but he did not want to talk about anything concerning marriage yet. Yes, they were deeply in love with each other, but he was not sure if he was ready to go for this. At this point, they stopped talking about it and he thought that the conversation was done and everything was okay. This was not the case with her. A few days later, they talked about it again, but the situation was still the same. He thinks that after then was when she finally started making plans of killing him. She seemed okay and she was pretending like everything was fine. One day he came back from work and he was so tired. They had dinner and he immediately went to bed. <laughs> While he was sleeping, she went to the nearby shop and she bought petrol. She entered their room and poured it on him slowly by slowly until the entire bed was wet. She lit up a match and burnt him. When he started smelling something weird, he woke up to check what was burning, only to find that it was him on fire and the only thing he could do was to run outside screaming for help since she was long gone. His neighbors came to his rescue and tried to put off the fire. He was burnt a lot and when the fire was put out on him, he fainted and fell into coma right away. He was rushed to the nearest hospital and this is when his life got totally ruined. <laughs> He woke up a week later, but his body was full of burns. He was going through a lot of pain and his girlfriend had run away and she was nowhere to be seen. This meant that he had to go through this alone. The hospital bills were so expensive and he could not afford to pay them. He decided to sell each and everything that he owned so as to be able to pay for his treatment because it was so complicated. 
inzu yo kubamo tonu kwaza nari mfite ndagurisha ndivuza nubwo nako ndakira According to him, he sold his house and all the things that he had inside, but still, it was not enough to pay the hospital bills and the entire process. Shortly after he had paid this money, he ran out of funds and his relatives too abandoned him because they all thought that he was going to die. Mm -hmm. He spent three years in the hospital being treated, but he is not fine yet. Fortunately, he came across different kinds of people in the hospital that felt sorry for him after listening to his story. They therefore decided to give him a hand. They are the ones that used to give him food and pay the hospital bills for him and he got discharged though his condition was not good at all. He had no other option but to go home and start living in this house. At this point, he had totally no one to take care of him. It was one morning that he never forgets when he woke up and he couldn't believe what he saw. It was his girlfriend standing in front of the doorway. Honestly, he was very scared because he thought that this time she had come to finish him. He asked her not to kill him and he would do anything that she wanted. But no, this was not the case. She had come to ask him for forgiveness instead. She told him that from that day she could not sleep at all. She said that she is sorry and she really loved him. He thought about it and he loved her too and needed someone to be with him because he was dying and couldn't do anything for himself. He took the toughest decision that one could ever make. He decided to forgive her. Everyone that knew the both of them said that he was crazy and mad at the same time to ever take her back according to what she did to him. Others say that he took her back because he was scared that if he refused, she would kill him and this time he wouldn't survive. He says that he keeps hearing everything that people keep saying in this society, but all that is not true. He went for her because he really loves her and forever will, though it is hard for everyone to understand such a decision. Now, she is the one that takes care of him because he still has buns and most of his cars still hurt him a lot. It is a sure thing that he still needs treatment, but they are too poor to afford it since they sold everything that they had. She does not have a job and the only way that they ever get anything to eat is if it's offered to them by a good Samaritan or anyone from their family. The life that they are living today is tough and not easy at all. They have plans of getting married once he is fine. She told him that if he does not recover, she will still marry him regardless. It is quite obvious that these two love each other despite all that happened in the past. They now have children together. They have twins and hope to raise their children and give them the best future that they could ever get and still hope for the best no matter the poor life that they are living in today. We asked the lady to talk to us but she refused to. Probably she is living with guilt because of what she did to him and maybe she is also scared of people judging her so she decided not to say anything about this and we had to respect that. The funds that will help Aphrodis get treatment will be donated via Giving Life. A link that is in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment by Afrimax English. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is Afrimax English. Do not forget to subscribe.